you guys welcome back um to my channel uh today as you can see it's gonna be a hair tutorial because i am so tired of being quarantined and my hair is looking like this do you guys see this i hope this works if not i'm just gonna have to cough up money and get something stronger because i do have some thick hair but anyway Let's get to it. So, I found this guy. It's Remington Hair Strainer. And I bought this for $17.84 from Amazon. The link is below in the description. But anyway, we are going to see if this actually works or not. And I'm, I'm, I'm praying and hoping it does. If not, I'm going to go ahead and braid on my hair. But I haven't even opened this box. Let me see what it really looking like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And as you can see, it says Remington, and it has a digital display. And let me just read you what it is off the box. 50% less static and flyaways, anti-static technology, 30% stronger, longer ceramic floating plates, titanium protection coating for fast heat up and styling, 450 degrees Fahrenheit, high heat, 30 seconds heat up, 88 digital heat settings and auto shut off. So I hope it really works. Let's get started. I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair and I'll be back to blow out my hair. Show you guys how I blow out my hair and we'll go from there. Let's get started. I am back from washing my hair and I do not get my hair strained that often, maybe like five times a year or less, sometimes three. Um, but I want to go ahead and try to strain my hair right now and honestly, I don't even know what type of texture hair I have, but if you guys know what type of texture hair I have, please comment below because I have like no idea. I have to wash my hair and I haven't washed it in about two weeks now. Um, this is what I've gotten from detangling like my majority of my hair while I was shampooing. Um, and this is the shampoo that I use, Tresemme, the luxurious moisture for dry and damaged hair. This is the one that I use. Yep, that's the one I use. Okay, so after I wash my hair, I um, go ahead and put in a leave-in conditioner this one is by shea moisture um it is the jamaican black castor oil strengthen and restore leave-in conditioner with shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar and there you go so let's get a handful because my hair is so thick. My hair is really thick. Okay. And let me tell you, every time I go to the hair salon to get my hair done and I sit down in the chair, the hairstylist always say, oh, you have some thick, long hair. Um, I'm going to have to add an extra $25 or add an extra $30 for doing thick, long hair. And I'm like, okay, so why do you tell me that when I talk to you? Like, 
Why didn't Why didn't you communicate that with me? Uh, hairstylists, please, like, tell tell me all the hidden fees and information over the phone. You could have just said, hey, you know, if you have thick hair, you know, long hair, then I'm gonna have to charge you this. But hey, I get it. That's how you get somebody in to uh, make an appointment. I get it. But let's be real. Anyway, so this is my hair with the leave-in conditioner. And then I use my hair measure. Um, it's with like cash oil, vitamin E, olive oil, and other different types of oils to help moisture in my hair. This um, Reckon Extreme Anti-Snap Leave-In Treatment for Distressed Hair. So this would definitely help with the tangling and breakage. And now I'm gonna spray the um, Tresemme Heat Tamer, tamer um, Protect Against Heat Damage. And this is a leave-in spray. This is what it looks like. Just spray it all over my hair. But I had this blow dryer sitting in my bathroom for a long time and I never opened it. This is the Baby Bliss Pro hair dryer. So. So I can get started. And this is how my hair looks blow dried. OMG, my eyebrows need to get done ASAP. Anyway, now we're about to get started with flat ironing my hair. So. Okay, maybe for seventeen dollars. Okay, we'll see how my whole head comes up. Okay. Okay, seventeen dollars.
but overall, it's okay. It's okay. It did do good. I just want my hair to be a little bit bone straight. But it did okay. It did do okay. And we'll put some, maybe some curls or something in it to see how that looks. I need some color in my hair. Oh. Okay. Let me see what it looks like with some curls. So this is the finished touches. Overall, it's good, but my roots, I feel like it doesn't get close to my roots. And so my hair just feels so, you know, it looks fluffy. Um, with that being said, it's good to like get like your regular curls, but to get your hair straightened at the roots, I feel like it doesn't do too well. And I feel like I just need to go get a hot comb and just get my roots so that my hair is flat. I like, I like bone flat hair. But that's just my preference. Until next time, peace.